Okay, here we'll take a look at work coordinate systems using the G54 through G59. Keep in mind that this is just uh, informal instructional uh, video. Uh, be sure and consult your user's manual for the actual machine that you're using before you do any programming. Alright, here's a typical setup using some strap clamps uh, on the bed of a machine. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. Um, so here we are on the machine and we've got our work positioned here but if we look at the machine coordinate system it's over here somewhere. It would be better if we had that coordinate system down here where we could uh, use it a little bit easier so that we didn't have to use all negative coordinates and strange coordinates based on this coordinate system. It'd be nice to have one that was over here in the corner something like that would be really useful where this edge of the part aligns with the x-axis this edge with the y-axis and z would be straight up like that if it was over here in this corner and that's what we're going to use a work coordinate system for so what we'll look at is how different our coordinate system is from the machine's coordinate system we'll measure the difference in the z the difference in the x and the difference in the Y. So this is how different our coordinate system is from uh, the machine's coordinate system. We'll measure, we need to know how far down, how far over, how far in or out. So what we can do is we can actually uh, use an edge finder and I'll probably do a video on how to use an edge finder but we'll position the tool so that we're in that corner down here and what we'll do is tell the machine look uh, you know how far you are from your origin so just remember that remember how far away you are from your origin and machine tools are pretty good at remembering that so the actual distance in the Z that we that our coordinate system is from the machines coordinate system is 1.2879 inches negative 1.2879 so ours is lower down ours is to the left about 8 inches and it's moved out uh, in the, z the machine's negative z direction negative 9.12 and so what we can do is, is uh, you know, boil this down to just three numbers the negative 9, negative 8, negative 1 uh, with their respective decimal places and we can have the machine store those values for us and there is a place in most controllers called the offsets page where the work offsets are stored and you'll see here ours is being stored on the line G54 so we have used the controller to record the position of our offset of our coordinate system offset in this offset register and so when we want to use the particular setup that we're using we, where we've got uh, we've measured the distance from the work coordinate system to our coordinate system that one in particular one we've listed as G54. Now you might want to use this uh, if you have a vise that's permanently attached to your table or at least uh, more or less permanently attached to the table you can use the fixed jaw of the vise uh, as the offset origin. But here we've got several different places we could do this. So we could have G54, we could do the same thing with G55 and store it in a different location. Maybe we have two vises on the on the bed of the machine and we've got G56, 57, 58, 59 and then other machines will add uh, some more but these are the fairly common ones G54 through G59 and the way we would call this in a code is just to call a G54 before we start using any geometry uh, and then the machine will know to offset its origin by those values that are in that offset register and uh, basically just use the coordinate system that we picked on the table of the machine.